What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just saw Mufasa. We've done the teaser, so this is probably the official trailer or trailer two. When I did the teaser, I wasn't really interested. I felt it's not one of those movies that we're gonna rush to go and see, but also I said I felt like Disney had ruined their brand and that's the reason why we're feeling that way. But yeah, let's see what they put into the new trailer. I'm expecting to see more clips, of course, and of course what the plot is gonna be as well, so. Guys, before I do that, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate you guys. I'm trying to reach that 1000 subscriber mark so I can become a YouTube partner. So I'd really appreciate your sub today. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. It's time I tell you a story. A story of a cub. Uh, to learn and come back. You. So just to be clear, we're not in this story. There's a lot of stories with all of us. Tell one of those. Long oh, before, so he's telling legends. He's Mufasa telling the story. And the prince who would come to be known as Scar became brothers. Hello, what's your name? Wait a minute. Mufasa. I told you to wait for me. We can't just leave him here. Rules Did they say rules. Mufasa was a prince? The king will never accept a stray. Okay. I'm just lost. Oh, okay. So we Mufasa do not associate is with outsiders. not royal. Is king. We must protect the bloodline. But Dad, I saved his life. <laughs> doesn't that ruin the movie? Doesn't that ruin like? Mufasa, I always wanted a brother. Sometimes I get a scent. Oh. It's barely a trace on the wind. And it smells like home. Then it's gone. You and Tucker this together, is interesting. that is home. No Not in a go. good way. Find your place. I'm just yes, thinking. Scar is the rightful king. <laughs> the circle is broken. Circle of there will be one lion king. Ooh, he said the title. Mufasa, run! Wait, are white lions a, a real thing? Are they real? Or is that just... We must fight together! Is that just, um... For effect? If we fight, we die! Just to be clear... They, I they look good, though. The white this. lions look cool. Look at that. I'm here to protect you, my brother. Oh! oh. oh. We're alive! Uh. I did it! Uh, I saved us! Whoa. Oh, that's still coming. You were saying? Interesting. I'm interested, but not in a good way. Okay, guys, so I'm a bit confused now because I think it feels like they're ruining the law. So they said... Mufasa was the prince and sorry what am I saying they said Scar was the prince and Mufasa is a stray so unless they're gonna somehow at the end link Mufasa to royalty maybe he has amnesia or something well we saw that he grew up with him so it's not gonna be an amnesia thing but this ruins everything because that means that Mufasa stole the throne from Scar and the movie that we were watching that depicts Scar as being the villain, Mufasa and his family are actually the villain. I'm interested just to see what they do. And I'm, I'm, I don't know whether that was their plan all along, but I'm interested to see how they tie up that loose end because if they don't do it properly, Mufasa is a bad guy. <laughs> Mufasa, Simba, all of them, the entire line are villainous because of how Scar's basically lost the throne to a, a stray. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I want to watch it just to see what they do. But I don't like it. I will say I like the animation. It looks really, really good. I'm not going to fault that at all. Just because Disney stories have not been good lately, that doesn't mean everything they're doing is bad. When it comes to animation, this is top notch. Like the white lions look epic. That looks amazing. But apart from that, the story is 
going against my childhood <laughs> literally it's going against my childhood and i think look this is the, the one thing that disney is doing this is another thing that disney has been doing which they really need to stop doing and i think it's probably not just disney it's like all the studios together they're trying to make villains sympathetic they're trying to make them like oh there's another side to them because it worked with thanos i believe was it thanos and before thanos you had like mr smith from matrix and there were certain villains joker is it joker joker from the old batman like they tried to make them yeah yeah, yeah joker actual joker um the one that made a billion dollars a billion in the in the box office they tried to make you like understand them you don't have to do that for every villain when they do it right it's cool like Thanos Thanos was really really cool doesn't mean you get behind him but you understand why he's doing what he's doing but you don't have to do that for every single villain at some point you know you're in danger of making all villains understandable and you're sending the wrong message I think when you do that maybe that's what they're doing here they're trying to make Scar sympathetic because you know the throne was taken from him but if you do that you might achieve that but what you do is you literally crap on the actual original story nothing means anything now like everything we thought we knew is now false the basis is false so that's why i don't like it uh, even though i'm interested to see how they wrap it up i really don't like that plot anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments below i'm not sure whether or not you guys caught that what do you think you know do you think that scar being the prince and mufasa not being also a prince ruins the law do you think that it ruins the lion king one and two do you think that there's no way they're gonna tie it up that's gonna make sense or do you think actually oh this is really good it makes Scar sympathetic and it will be it will make for good storytelling. Whatever the case may be, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching my channel today. Please leave a like, comment and sub. Remember, I have a relationship channel. Please go over there and give me a like, comment and sub. Watch my videos over there. I talk about relationships, especially to young people and our young Christians. Talking about, you know, the battle between feminism and the red pill and how we can avoid that battle and just do life find a partner and do life together. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I'll see you on the next one.